morning guys. Today we're gonna be feeding the red foots and a few other reptiles some boiled eggs. So as you guys know, I keep my red foots at my friend's house so we had to pay him a little visit. Don't mind my bike, I've crashed it a couple times. Um, it's not too bad though. Just broke the, the brake, broke the handle, broke the light and my spine, but we're good. walking on them. Yeah, you're gonna get them dirty. Here, take a bite. So these are my red foot tortoises. This is a bell of my Colombian red foot. Um, I've never fed them eggs before, or at least not these. I've fed eggs to my older red foot, but not to these guys. I don't know if they're gonna like it. There we go. They're all gonna come over here eventually when they see that I'm feeding a Bella. Now this is something that you guys don't wanna feed too often. This is just like a little treat and red foot tortoises are omnivores. So they could eat a little bit more protein. They could eat a little bit of eggs. They could eat a little bit of meat, insects, things like that. But it's not something that I feed very often. This is a very rare treat for them. Not even, I don't even feed it once a month. But if you guys wanted to feed something like this, you could do it maybe once a month. Um, I, I don't do that. Uh, I feed them, you're about to get rammed, a young boy. That tortoise is called the NBA young boy. Or just young boy. No, not you, you're a sulcata, you can't eat eggs, dude. Unfortunately here, we do have to discriminate against the tortoises. <laughs> the white guy can't have any. Boy, that's that's for his own good. It's not because I don't like him or anything. He, I mean, I don't like him. He's an asshole, but I can't feed him eggs because that's not good for him. All right, we're gonna feed him something else over here so that he he doesn't get upset. Now the only reason that I'm feeding eggs today is because I got them for free. Somebody donated these eggs. Um, it was one bag that I'm gonna give to the Redfoots because I have a lot of them. So it's the easiest way to put the eggs to use without them rotting. And then the rest, I have another small bag that I'm gonna be feeding to the Savannah monitor, the water monitors and all the other lizards over there at my house that are able to eat them. Uh, and some of the Yellowfoots as well. Look at that. That's the perfect thumbnail right there. Yeah, look at this poor guy, bro. He's trying to get some eggs, but he can't. They're all on top of it. Look, here, we'll, we'll, I'll give Step some back. by hand to him. Here you go, buddy. Look at Abella, bro. Dude, Abella, Abella's greedy. Yeah, I absolutely love the red foot tortoises. I'm actually gonna hopefully buy some more when I'm, whenever I'm able to find some adults. If anybody has a group of adults that they wanna sell or rehome, let me know. If you're in South Florida, I'll buy them. All right, so this is something that I've been keeping secret from you guys. I haven't really been making any videos on them, but in here, in here I got some cherry heads. Actually, I think I might've shown this guy off in one of my other videos. I don't know if I ever posted that video, but these are cherry heads. And there you go. Take some. They might not want it. There you go. This guy's starting to take a bite already. So yeah, these are cherry head tortoises, as you can see. These are the ones that have the marbling, and also have the one over there that has no marbling. They're different genetics, um, different parts of the world where these guys come from. I, I forget which one's which. Uh, I think these might be the North Brazilians one, but I'm not going to say anything because I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but they're from different locales. These guys have the marbling, these don't, but these have a, a brighter head as you can see, and these have a more dull head. And these guys, if I wet them, they look a lot prettier. Unfortunately, this one has a little bit of an indentation here and here. Not really sure why. I already got them as adults like this not too long ago. But I am going to be selling these guys because I have too many males. I have this guy that's a male, and that one that's a male, and this one's a male. So I'm going to be keeping this one and that one, which are the two females. And they're all... Oh, hello. You want some eggs? No. 
All right, uh, but that's the female, and they're already breeding. But the thing is that since there's so many males, the males are breeding within each other. They're all just, um, yeah. All the males are the ones breeding. The females aren't breeding. Uh, nobody's breeding with the female. I don't know if that's on purpose, if that's maybe their preference, but. Either way, I, I don't know. Males, males that breed with males aren't. Did she take the yeah, egg? Yeah, she took the egg. <laughs> Did she keep it? I don't know. Yeah, why not? All right, well, this guy seems to be the only one that actually likes it. But yeah, males that breed with males are pretty useless, at least in my sense. Uh, because you know they can't have babies but yeah these guys there's just too many males in this group so i don't want the males breeding with the other males so i'm just gonna get rid of that guy and this guy if you guys do want to purchase them i'm gonna be putting them on shadowsreptiles.com so like i said the marbled one has a little bit of an indentation and a little bit of pyramiding uh this guy's pretty much perfect he just has some split skewts in the back and uh, yeah i'm keeping this one i'm keeping the female as well and coming back to the redfoots, they've already devoured all the eggs. At least it looks like they've devoured most. I'm sure that they're sitting on top of some of it and they'll find it. The only one that I didn't want getting it is this guy because he is a sulcata tortoise. And these guys are uh, grassland species. They don't want, they can't have any protein or any meat or anything like that. So he only eats grass, flowers, and he's mad at me because I didn't give him eggs. I'm sorry, dude. So yeah, this is why I called him NBA young boy. Young boy for sure, because I'm not going to be calling him NBA young boy every time that I talk about him, but. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. Go ahead. This is why you didn't get any eggs, dude. Look at this. This little thief. She came back. She just came to show off. She's like, oh, yeah, I took the egg from you. What are you going to do about it? Where's my other cherry head, dude? Oh. All right, so yeah, look, it looks like they're all starting to eat the eggs already. They've all gotten a bite, right? Has the female? No, this one hasn't gotten a bite. Oh. Ignored them. At least these two liked it. That's pretty cool. Like I said, this is not necessary for them at all. The Missouri already contains like all the things that they need. So I feed Missouri like two to three times a week. And when they're not eating the Missouri, I feed them uh, mulberry leaves, hibiscus leaves, hibiscus flowers, romaine lettuce, and things like that. Uh, those are my most staple things. Oh, and um, Opuntia cactus, which is also really good for them. It's good for calcium as well and grass and all that. Although these guys don't have that much grass in their enclosures, they still nibble on the little pieces that are growing in their enclosure. Oh, and look, I guess she came back to apologize. What's up, Candy? You enjoyed those eggs, huh? So these guys are enjoying the eggs over here. Oh my God, we're getting bamboozled. She took the eggs again. And this guy's running away. And here we, we thought she came to apologize. All right, well, this guy's trying to pull a fast one as well. Come over here, dude. Now, a little bit's not going to hurt him, but I don't want him getting pyramided, so I don't feed or I don't want him eating a good amount of it. Although most of it is already gone, so I'm not really worried about the rest. All right, buddy. He's like, why don't you let me eat? We'll get him. Let's get him a flower, dude. Or we'll get him some leaves. Such a windy day, but there you go, buddy. That's much better than eggs, huh? Something that you're actually supposed to be eating. All right, but yeah, only some of the redfoots were able to eat eggs. I have like 23 tortoises in here and obviously only like, like eight to 10 of them ate the eggs. So for the rest of them, I'm gonna be feeding some Missouri. I just throw it out on the floor like this and they'll find that they actually have a really good sense of smell, so they'll be able to sniff this all out. They really enjoy this Missouri. So you can see they already started eating. And here comes Nyx. Every time that she sees me, she'll run across the yard so that I could give her a little flower. Here you go. those huge legs i love nick she's such a proud tortoise she always stands up super tall compared to the other sulcatas there's just something about her she's kind of she kind of reminds me of the aldabras let me see where's the aldabras these guys they always walk really tall they always have their necks up nice and high and it's just it just gives a different vibe than all the other tortoises you know 
I mean, you can see the little fools over there walking over here. They have their heads real low, but not this guy. Well, now he has it kind of low. Come on, dude, you're making me look bad. And look at the little red foot. I love this guy. You know, this, this is why I really like this enclosure. These guys, I don't know, every tortoise that I put in here just becomes like the friendliest tortoise. I literally put this guy in here like a couple days ago and now every time that he sees me or hears my voice, he'll run out here. I don't know, this is like a magical area here. So from now on, any tortoise that I get, I'll put him in here for a while and then they become super friendly. But now I'm about to get pinned by the other Sokatas. Nick, I already gave you a, a flower, dude. What do you want? These guys are like gangsters, you know? They're over here always collecting taxes from me. But yeah, the Aldabras are awesome. The Hermans are awesome. The little baby Redfoot's awesome. And so are the Sokatas. All right, and now these are the yellow foots here. I just had to get these guys out of that corner over there. That's why they're a little bit spooked. And this is my box turtle. He's a rescue that I took in recently from a friend of mine. So these guys are all doing pretty good. And I want to wash my hands and it looks like the box turtle left, but not without taking a treat. Somehow he managed to get the egg over there. Not really sure how he did that. Unless I guess he just sat on it and just dragged it all the way over there. But what are you guys looking for? I already gave you food. You're literally eating. Or you guys don't really like eggs too much. Do you want some Missouri instead? Maybe they want some Missouri instead. But I'm hoping that they eat the eggs. Unlike the Redfoots that I didn't really care. The Redfoots eat a lot of um, different things. These guys are a little bit more picky. And ha I'm having a little bit more difficulty uh, getting them to eat things. So I'm hoping that they'll eat, like the eggs and eat some of the things. At least I know that they're eating the flowers. And they're eating the cactus and things. Or Yeah, yeah. The, the Yellowfoots are eating the cactus. Not that guy. Um, but the yellow foots, they tore down all of my trees here. As you can see, I used to have a bunch of beautiful trees that were taller than this shed. And now I only have one that's half broken already. But either way, I, I planted them for them to enjoy. Um, you're going to turn around and go get some more food, my guy. But again, I fed these guys on the plate so that they wouldn't get dirt all over the, the eggs. And they're dragging it, making a mess. Oh, it looks like this guy's finally going to take a bite over there. And that's a huge box turtle. I, he was really scared of me at first, but now he's starting to get a little bit more friendly. Just like all the animals, you know, as soon as I put him into a group that's friendly, they all start becoming friendly. Big man still hasn't taken a bite. And I think this one was eating when I first got here, but I'm not sure. Maybe he hasn't taken a bite either. But these guys are a little bit more timid than my other tortoises. That's why I'm standing a little bit farther away. And um, as you can see, I have this guy and this guy that are a little bit more curious. But I'm going to let them eat their food on their own. And I'm going to just go ahead and end off the video here. Let them finish. I'm probably going to feed them a little bit of Missouri as well for those of them that didn't like the eggs. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.